In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can connect your LearnDash courses with your social groups. This is a really awesome feature that if you're running a community with courses, you're really going to love. The whole concept is to be able to create a kind of online classroom experience. So each group can represent a kind of classroom or cohort. And then the people in that group are taking a course, possibly multiple courses together. And we found most of our clients are using this if they're using LearnDash with the social features. Now, for many years, we've actually sold a product called Social Learner, and it's been incredibly popular. A lot of major sites are running it. Our customers love it. However, after having talked to many clients, we know that it has one limitation, which is that it only allows you to connect one course with one group. And our clients have given us feedback that what they really want is more flexibility. They want the ability for a group to be able to have multiple courses in it. So for example, let's say you had a classroom, you want all the students to go through a curriculum of courses. They want to be able to connect multiple courses to a single group. And they also want the ability for a course to be shared across many groups. Like maybe you have a cohort that takes a course in the first semester and then a whole different cohort takes that course in the second semester. So with our old social learner product, it wasn't really possible to do that. It was one course, one group. In BuddyBus platform, we've taken that whole concept and made it way more flexible. So now you can kind of mix and match and do it any way you want. So I'm gonna show you how that works in this tutorial. So if I come back to LearnDash, I can go to groups. LearnDash has something called Learn Dash groups, not to be confused with the social groups in our platform. It's actually a slightly different concept. The whole idea of a Learn Dash group is that it allows you to organize members together around a course or courses. So you, then you can pick who's the instructor for the group, who are the students, and which courses they have access to. And then when you're looking at reports in the back end, Learn Dash also respects that, so the instructor can only see reports on their students. And we found that many of our customers, perhaps most, are already using LearnDash groups. So this is what we're gonna to use to tie in everything. We're basically gonna connect a LearnDash group with a social group, and that's going to sync the members and their roles and the courses they have access to for that group. So to do that, first we need to enable some options. We're gonna head back into BuddyBoss and go to Integrations. And then LearnDash. So as you can see, since we've enabled the LearnDash plugin, BuddyBoss platform has added some integration options for LearnDash. And we can see that these options are to sync BuddyBoss content to LearnDash and or sync LearnDash to BuddyBoss. So let's start with this one, sync LearnDash group users to BuddyBoss groups. So I'm gonna check that. And what this is gonna do is whenever we create a LearnDash group, it will sync all of that into a social group. And I know this might be a bit confusing at first, but once I show you a demo, it'll make a lot of sense and you'll see how powerful this really is. We have some other options for what's gonna to happen to that social group. We can automatically create one. We can set what's the default group privacy if it's automatically created, private, public, hidden. Social group invite status, so basically which users in the group can invite other people. Basically, you can set some options for what are the defaults in that group. We can select if we wanna automatically delete the social group when the LearnDash group is deleted. That's a little bit dangerous, so make sure you're certain you wanna do that. And then we can pick which role in the group you wanna sync. So the LearnDash group leaders can be an organizer in the social group or set to some other role. And the LearnDash group users can be set to some role, we'll say member. These are the defaults, which makes the most sense to me. You can also sync in the reverse so that when stuff is happening in a social group, it syncs in the other direction into the LearnDash group. So I'm gonna turn that off for now. We're just gonna use this and let me save that. And then we're going to go to Learn Dash Groups again. And we'll add our first group. And again, this group represents a kind of online organization of users around courses. It's just data, which we're going to sync up to our social group, which is, you can imagine the social group as the place on the front end where all that data exposes itself. I can name this anything I want. I'll call it First Semester Cohort. All right, this is the cohort taking the classes in the first semester, let's pretend. And we can pick which courses we want to be associated with it. So for now, I'm just gonna add one course, A Life of Happiness and Fulfillment. And I'll say that John is a group leader and Mateo is also a group leader. And I'll make a bunch of these people users. So basically what we've said is that we're going to create a group and this is the course that's in that group. 
These are the leaders, AKA instructors of the group. These are the users, AKA students of the group. And we can associate it with an existing group or we can create a fresh group. So I'm gonna just create a fresh group here and click publish. And then let's go to the front end and go to our groups directory. So we can see that a social group was automatically created during this process, which is what we expected because we said we were going to create a group based on this data. So let's go in that group and see what we find. So first off, if we go to members, we can see there are seven members. The two organizers are John and Matteo, and those are the people we set as the leaders. And the members are these five people. Those are the people we set here. And if you add more people in here or move people around, that will sync here. And if you select the options to sync in the reverse direction, then if users join this group from the front end or a user's promoted to be an organizer or moderator or whatever, they'll sync back into the Learn Dash group too. And then let's go check out our new course tab. So on here, we can see that our course that we attached, A Life of Happiness and Fulfillment shows up here. Here's the intro to the course and the price box and everything else. And now it's connected into this group in the same way that it would have been in the old social learner product. You have one course on this group. However, this course can actually be put into a lot of different groups. The way to do that would be to come back here and just create a bunch of different Learn Dash groups. Each one could have that course in it. And then that course is shared across all those groups. And then we can also put multiple courses in this group. So if I want to do that, I can just add a few different courses into the group. Let's update it. And then let's come back here and refresh. And now instead of showing the, the intro for our one course, we can see the three different courses that are connected to this group. And now if I click one of those courses, it's going to take me to the course homepage. So as you can see, the solution is incredibly flexible. You can have one or many courses attached to a group. The course is going to be shared across multiple groups. You can basically do whatever you want. And then just for fun, I'm going to show you how we can use group types to make this experience even cooler. If I go back to Buddy Boss settings and click on groups. Again, this is related to our social groups. You want to make sure you enable group types. And this allows you to organize your groups by type. So let's create a new group type. And I'll call this one a classroom group type. So plural would be classroom, singular would be classroom. And I'll publish that. And then let's manage this group. And we'll go to settings. and we'll make it a classroom group type. So now it says that it's a classroom. And if I go to the groups directory, we can see that this says it's a classroom, whereas this says it's a group. That way, if you're mixing your course groups in with other types of groups, it's more clear to the users what's going on. And we can even take this further and relabel the different roles in the group. So I can say for classroom group types, we're gonna rename organizers to, let's say teachers. We'll relabel moderators to mentors. And we'll relabel the members to students. And update that. And now if we refresh this group, we can see it's a classroom group. These are the quote unquote teachers. These are the quote unquote students in our group. And if we go back to the groups directory and click some other group that's not a classroom and go to members. In this group, it will still say organizers and members because it's not a classroom. So now you can really have a special classroom experience and simultaneously have regular social groups coexisting on the same site.